Hello, my name is Walter Unglob and this is Physics of Underwater Explosions. So an underwater explosion will typically be due to either a chemical detonation or a nuclear detonation. So if we consider in three dimensions a detonation underwater, there's going to be a great force acting isotropically, meaning in all directions. So a bubble will form. We know that the volume of a bubble or sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we see that for every time the radius of this bubble due to the detonation underwater doubles, we're going to have a volume 4 pi 2 r cubed. And if we take out the 2 cubed, we see that the volume will increase eightfold for each time the radius doubles. That means that you need to exert eight times as much pressure, as much force on all the water surrounding the bubble in order for the bubble to expand. So if we were to examine the speed of sound underwater due to the detonation, the speed at which this bubble increases in radius as a function of time, initially it will be supersonic. It will be greater than the speed of the sound in the water. And it will quickly decay due to the fact that the water is an excellent insulator for shock. Because the water has a higher density than air, and so it's more difficult to compress. So initially it will be supersonic and it will quickly decay due to the fact that as we saw eight times as much water needs to be pushed away in order for the bubble to keep expanding, to keep doubling in its width. So this has been tested using normal chemical, conventional bombs and also nuclear weaponry and it, there are distinct differences between conventional weaponry and nuclear weaponry but the physics still holds regarding the detonation bubble and how that expansion is damped from the incompressibility of the fluid. My name is Walter Unglob and this is Physics of Underwater Explosions. Music